Live from Ball State University. News for the campus community and all of Delaware County. This is Newslink Indiana. Ball State University is expanding its campus, but not without controversy. Good evening, I'm Nick Matson, And I'm Julia St. John. The university plans to build a new hotel, resident hall, and two new restaurants on the corner of University and McKinley Avenues. Newslink Indiana's David Coates reports Ball State students aren't thrilled about the expansion. Because of legal reasons, Chris Hyatt is currently being careful on what he says. A new building may not be the only change on Ball State's campus. There soon could be fewer places where some students like to take a break. Nicole Griffin has the details. President Gora passed the issue of reducing smoking areas on campus to student affairs to make a recommendation. Finals week is coming up fast, and the stress that comes with it isn't going to get Ball State students in a huff too badly. Newslink's Indiana's Kelly Quarles joins us live with a way to relieve some of that stress. Thanks, Kelly. Ball State's Recreation Services, along with the University Programs Board and the Alcohol and Drug Education Office, are sponsoring the Stress Busters event tonight. Well, Nick, you know, with finals week coming up, that's one stressor for students, but hopefully the weather won't be. Yeah, that's, I know that's one thing I don't want to be stressing out about is, um, you know, what the weather's going to be like. Brian Shaver, what do you have for us in weather? Well, actually, uh, the beginning of this week, uh, weather, or beginning of next week, finals week, weather, our temperature should rise, but we'll get into that later. A 28-year-old Indiana man died today after being struck by a car on a South Dakota interstate. Jason Childers of Crawfordsville was running naked across Interstate 29 when he was hit by a car. 64-year-old Bruce Monty is charged with drunken driving. Witnesses say Childers was drinking alcohol before the incident also. One Republican nominee is expected to drop out next week. Find out who after the break. The NFL draft is tomorrow. Find out which Ball State football players are hoping to hear their name. All that and more coming up on Newslink Indiana. In this is Newslink Indiana. Gubernatorial candidate John Gregg proposes a new tax cut for gas prices. With many of the customers trying to save money, the new tax cut will help with buying gas. Benicia Brown has more. Here Thanks, Benicia. Hopefully with that, customers will be more happy at the pump. Residents in northeastern Indiana Township can look forward to not paying property taxes in 2012. Craig Bassett, trustee for DeKalb County's Union Township, says the township has plenty of money in the bank. Their combined $400,000 in operating and poor relief funds is enough to last for five years. The extra money is the reason Bassett decided to remove property taxes this year. Newt Gingrich is expected to suspend his presidential campaign after devastating primary losses yesterday. A spokesman for Gingrich confirmed the former House Speaker plans to shut down his campaign Tuesday. Gingrich told supporters in North Carolina today that at some point a candidate has to be, quote, honest about what's happening in the real world. I also think that it's very, very important that we be unified. Nothing should stop, no conservative anywhere in America should have any doubt about the importance of defeating Barack Obama. Mitt Romney won after five primaries. Yesterday, Indiana's primary is Tuesday, May 8th. One Ball State athlete is halfway across from the globe from her home, but that doesn't stop her from excelling on the track. That later in sports. And will we see more rain? We will have the full forecast next on Newslink Indiana. Well, Julia, today's um, rainy and cl cloudy weather kind of made it a nice day to stay inside and uh, get a head start on uh, finals. Yeah, well, hopefully it'll clear up this weekend so students can study and maybe even go out one last time. But let's send it on over to Brian and see what he's got for us. Brian? Yep. The Indianapolis Colts will officially have a new quarterback tomorrow. And a senior Ball State track member talks about traveling to the United States to compete. Stay tuned. This is The track team travels to Bloomington this weekend. The season will continue through June. Well, thank you, Nick. And People's Most Beautiful Women was announced today. 
coming up in entertainment, we will tell you who it is. No, Nick, it's not me, but we will have a final look at weather when we return. Thank you, Randa and Brian. You have a final yeah, look at the Yeah, uh, let's have a final look at that seven day right there. Tomorrow, uh, 63, uh, breezy, uh, low of 36, and the next few days are partly cloudy. Saturday, or Saturday, 48, so it's going to get down there pretty low. We'll have a rebound next week for beginning of finals week. Awesome. And that's all we have for you this year on NewsLink Indiana. Be sure to tune into the only award-winning nightly newscast in Delaware County when we return in September. Until then, have a great summer. Good night.